Hi, writers. Welcome back for day two of our mindful meditation writing. So you want to make sure you have their folder with your mindful meditation papers in it. Yesterday, we filled out our plan sheet, which was day one. And today, you're going to need your paper for day two. It's a two-sided single paper. So take a second and go ahead and get that out. All right. So our target for today I can write a narrative piece using descriptive details. I will know I'm successful when my mindful meditation includes directions on how to breathe. We picked that on our plan sheet already. I have written at least three details using my senses. You should have those on your plan sheet already. I have used description signal words in my writing. We're going to talk about that today. I have included a closure and I have checked my writing for punctuation, capital letters, and spelling. So let's take a look at that. So your directions for today, back on your slide for writing, you should have seen a link for mindful meditation. You're gonna go ahead and open that up and you're gonna look for the slide with your name at the top. And this is where you're gonna type your mindful meditation. So we're not handwriting a draft, we are just getting right into typing, but careful. Just like when we've done some other exercises, everyone from your class will be working in the slides presentation at the same time. So it's very important that you focus on your slide and being respectful and responsible. You're going to need to keep your plan sheet in front of you. So that's your paper from yesterday. And you're just gonna follow through your plan sheet. You're gonna start with your choice for a breathing exercise. All you did yesterday was check that. You can just type it word for word. You're gonna, you had a sentence starter. And then you're going to look at your graphic organizer. You want to try to write at least five senses describing your special place to the reader. And then you're going to check that you have descriptive signal words and then just copy over your choice for a closure, which you picked yesterday as well. So let's review some description words. And we've been talking about this in reading as well. So when we're writing descriptive text, just like our mindful meditation here, we want to make sure that we provide details, characteristics, and examples. In this case, we're talking about a place because we want to help the reader create a mental image. So here are some great words you can try to incorporate in your writing today. For example, for instance, to illustrate in particular, characteristics are tastes like, sounds like, looks like feels like, smells like, such as, in fact, furthermore, about or is, and most important. Those are all some great words to include in your writing today. After you have finished writing today, we're doing a lot of writing and work today, you're going to move right into revising. And remember, revising and editing are a little bit different. So in revising, we're trying to make the content of our writing better. So I want you to think about arms, like an octopus arms. For A, you're going to go back and add sentences and words. Really think about using your senses and writing descriptions. Then R, remove unneeded words. Read your med meditation aloud to yourself and think about what doesn't make sense and maybe should come out. M, for move sentences or words. Again, maybe you want to keep it all, but it's just not in the right order. And S, substitute words for others. You can use a thesaurus if you need to and try to trade some of those boring words for juicy words. Okay. Really stretch out that writing. And then you're going to take a moment to edit and we wanna think about editing using cups. The C is for capitalized. Go through and check that the beginnings of your sentences, any names of people, places, months, days of the week, things like that have a nice capital letter. We're going to be making these into books to share with people, so we want this to be our best work. U for usage. Make sure that everything just kind of sounds correct as you're reading it out loud. P for punctuation. Make sure you have a period, exclamation point, or a question mark at the end of each sentence. And if you need quotation marks because somebody else is talking, make sure you include those. And then for spelling. Really pay attention to those underlined words and check through your spelling. You've got some great materials with your new dictionary and your foundations book to help you as well. So let's take a look at what your mindful meditation actually looks like. So this is the paper that you should have had in front of you. 
that walks you through everything you need to do today. And you can even use these as checklists to help you. Then here is what your book is going to look like. So here will be the cover of your book. There's a spot for a dedication page. We'll talk about that afterwards. You're not going to tape anything on there today. Then there's a spot with a letter explaining why we made this book. You're not going to do anything there either. And then it gets into the pages with people's names. So you're going to go ahead and scroll through until you find your name. So go ahead, take a moment now and pause if you need to. And I want you to go ahead and open up your slides presentation for your class and find your name. When you're ready, come back and hit play. Okay, friends, welcome back. Hopefully you have found your page by now. So let's take a moment and walk through again what you're going to do. Go ahead and take your plan sheet from yesterday and look at what breathing exercise you chose. It was either balloon breathing or countdown to calm. You're going to type the one you chose right now. That's how you're starting your exercise. So go ahead and type up the breathing exercise. You can hit pause while you do that. And when you're ready, come back and hit play and we'll move on to the next step together. All right, friends, welcome back again. The next thing that you are going to type is still from your plan sheet, okay? You have an opening sentence starter. You picked from imagine you are, think about a time when, imagine there is, imagine you see, or imagine you have a very special friend. You picked one and wrote your opening sentence yesterday. Go ahead and hit pause so you can go write this. When you're ready to continue, come back and hit play. All right, friends, moving on. You guys are doing so fantastic. This really is one of my favorite writing things each year. Now make sure you have your graphic organizer that you worked on yesterday. This is going to be your longest stretch of writing. I need you to go ahead and write at least five sentences describing your special place to the reader. So look at all of those notes. You should have filled out at least five boxes yesterday. So think about how you can describe what you see, hear, smell, taste, feel, what's going on in your special place. Go ahead and hit pause. And when you're ready, after you've written five sentences, come back and hit play again. All right, awesome job. So by now you should have your breathing exercise, your opening sentence, and five body sentences about your special place. Take a moment to go through and look at those descriptive word choices again. I'm gonna pull those back up on the screen as well. Does your writing include words like, for example, for instance, to illustrate, in particular, characteristics are tastes like, sounds like, looks like, feels like, smells like, such as, in fact, furthermore, about or is, and most important. Go pause here and see if you can go and find at least two of those in your writing. If not, take a moment to add them. When you're ready to move on, come back and join me and we will move on. All right, writers, all that's left in creating your draft is to include your closure. So if you look at your plan sheet from yesterday, you picked a closure already. All you need to do is type that closure. It either started with rub your hands together or when you are ready, take a long, slow, deep breath. Okay, pause here and go type your closure and come back when you are ready. All right, friends, all that's left to do is revise and edit your piece right now. And you have your arms and cups checklist on the back of today's paper to help you. So once more, I'm going to read through the arms checklist. So A is for add sentences and words. If yesterday you had time to draw a picture on the back, 
pause here, take a moment, go look at your picture and see if there's anything in your mental image from yesterday that you want to include today. When you're ready, come back and hit play. R is for remove unneeded words. In a moment, I'm gonna ask you to pause and go read your writing out loud to yourself and remove anything you need to. Go ahead and hit pause and when you're ready, come back and hit play. M is for move sentences or words. Again, you're gonna whisper read your writing to yourself. I mean, you're at home, you could even read it a little bit louder and see if anything needs to be moved around. Go ahead, pause and do this and come back when you're ready to move on. S is for substitute words for others. Same thing, go back and read it. If you find any really boring words, really push yourself, try to replace at least one word in your writing with a more exciting word. Go ahead and pause here and when you're ready, we'll move on to editing. All right, friends, welcome back. Our last step for today is to edit using cups. So remember that C is for capitalize and you are really working to capitalize the beginning of sentences, names of people, months, days of the week, etc. So go ahead and hit pause first. I want you to go and check that all of your sentences are capitalized. Awesome job, friends. Now I want you to go back and check that any names are capitalized. Great job. Now we're gonna move on to you for usage. Read through it again and make sure everything makes sense. Are you talking about the right people? Awesome job, friends. P for punctuation. I want you to go through first, so hit pause when you're ready, and make sure that every sentence ends with a period, an exclamation point, or a question mark. Then come back to me when you're ready. Good job, friends. And if you were missing any, I hope you added them in. Go ahead and make sure if there's any conversation, you have quotation marks and then come back to me. Great, now we need to work on spelling. You've typed up your draft, so if anything is spelled incorrectly, it should be underlined and Google will help you correct your spelling. So go take a minute to check any underlined words. You can use Google to help you. You can use your dictionary or any of your foundation's resources. Awesome job, friends. That actually brings us to the end of our writing for day two. All right, I look forward to, to working with you tomorrow to continue the work for our mindful meditation. Good luck, friends.